Philadelphia. I'm so excited to see everybody again this week when we get to cook our entree using Philadelphia cooking cream, which I'm, I have a great recipe that I just love to go with this. And I'm excited once again to be back with part of the real women of Philadelphia. And thanks for letting me come back again this week. Welcome to Miss Gail's Kitchen. What we're going to be cooking today is an adaptation of one of my favorite recipes that my mom used to make when I was growing up called Heavenly Hamburger. And it is just wonderful. And it's a dish that kids will love. Everybody just, it's, it's just a family friendly, good dish to eat. And what I've done to adapt it a little bit from the way that my mom used to do it is I've tried to make it just a little bit healthier. Instead of using ground beef, I've used some ground turkey. Instead of re using just regular egg noodles that it calls for, I used some whole wheat egg noodles. Also added some peas in there with it just to give it another little vegetable in there. And another thing that my mom used to do was she would take the Philadelphia cream cheese and she would add some chives and garlic to it. Well, I'm going to use the Philadelphia cooking cream, which really has that good creamy softness that works so well in this recipe. And it also has the garlic and chives already in it. Because this is the one that I like to use, the savory garlic, that already has the garlic mixed in with the cooking cream. And it's just, it saves you some time, and it's got that really nice creamy texture, too. So I'm going to get getting started with my recipe today, and I'm just browning about a pound or so, a pound and a quarter of ground turkey. And then I've mixed in with that some chopped onions, a little chopped bell pepper, and a half a cup each of those. And then I have also added about half of a finely chopped jalapeno pepper, just to give it a little bit of kick and add some spice in there to it. And I've also added some garlic in here with the meat because I like garlic and I think you can't have too much of it. So I'm going to let those peppers and onions and the garlic get happy in there with my ground turkey. And while that's doing that, I've already boiled my egg noodles. You can use whatever noodle that you like in this, but I like to use the wide egg noodles. And again, I have used the whole wheat. And then I've just tossed in with those some, about a half a cup of English peas and just a little bit of butter just to give that some good texture. And my green beans and onions and peppers, green peppers and turkey are getting all happy in there. And while that's doing that, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper in here with these noodles. Just to give that a little seasoning. And this is just about ready. Once these onions get just a little bit softer, I'm going to drain the fat off of this. And then I have an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce that I'm going to add in with the ground beef and the onions and peppers. In the meanwhile, while that's finished and cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start layering. This is going to go in a casserole dish. And I'm just going to put, the first layer is going to be about half of my noodles and peas that I had put together. And then when this beef is finished, we're going to put the next layer, a layer of beef over top of this. And then we're going to layer it with our Philadelphia cream cheese cooking cream. Okay, so my ground turkey, my peppers, and onions, and garlic are all ready. And now I'm going to take my 8-ounce can of tomato sauce and just stir that in with my ground beef and let it get good and hot. And I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to that as well, just according to your taste. And let this get just heated thoroughly. It doesn't need to cook for a long time because it's going to do its cooking in the oven. This was one of our favorite dishes when I was little. My sister and I just loved it whenever my mom would cook it. So excited when we come in in the afternoon. Mom, what's for supper? And I loved it when the answer was heavenly hamburger. It is heavenly. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half of this mixture and pour that over top of my noodles that we've already layered in the pan. Save the rest of it. This is where it gets really good. This is what makes this dish so fabulous. It's 
it's this Philadelphia cooking cream. And again, I have to use the savory garlic because it has that flavor. And this cooking cream is just so smooth. You can see how it's just smooth and it's just delicious. And that texture is perfect for what I need in this recipe. And that garlic, oh, I can smell that garlic now. Just delicious. So I'm just going to spread that evenly over that ground beef mixture. Make sure we get all of that in there. And this is a 10 ounce container of that cooking cream, and that's just exactly enough. That's how much I need to do this. Next, we're going to take the rest of our noodles and just add us a second layer of that on top of the cooking cream. You know what I'm going to do with this layer to sort of get mixed in good with that cooking cream? And I'm just going to add a little bit of extra chives in here. I just like those chives in there with that garlic cooking cream. So we've got that next layer of noodles. Add a little extra chives in there with it to mix in. And then I'm going to take my second half of the ground turkey mixture. Oh, and those onions and garlic and peppers, they smell so good. And just pour that on top. Spread it evenly. All oh, those things are getting nice and happy mixed in there together. And then lastly, I've got about a cup or so of some sharp cheddar cheese. And I'm just going to put that on top of this. And then we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven. I'm going to cover this and bake it covered for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to remove the lid and bake it for another 10 minutes. And then it's going to be ready for your family to enjoy. We'll let it cook. Okay, so this has been in the oven for about 30 minutes now, but I'm just going to pull it out and let's see what this looks like. Mmm. Nice and bubbly and hot and creamy and gooey is what that looks like to me. I'm just going to dig into this and taste a little bit. See how good that cooking cream is. Oh, it just makes it all nice and creamy in there. Doesn't that look delicious? This is why my mom calls this Heavenly Hamburger. Dr. Duff's Mom's Heavenly Hamburger. Oh, I'm just going to have to taste that. It looks so good. Mmm. 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 You're going to have to make this and make it at home. It is fabulous. Oh, it's delicious. Thanks for coming to cook with me again this week, Paula. Have a great week. I'll see you next time in Miss Gail's Kitchen.